Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1773, the church hymn entitled First Chronicles 17, 16 through 17, is first used to accompany a sermon by Reverend John Newton in Great Britain. We now know the hymn as Amazing Grace. In 1776, Norfolk, Virginia is set on fire by the Royal Navy and the Continental Army. In 1780, Pennsylvania becomes the first U.S. state to abolish slavery, but it applies to newborns only. In 1781, the Continental Congress adopts the Articles of Confederation. In 1788, the first edition of the Times of London is published. In 1790, the first United States Census is authorized. In 1800, the Dutch East India Company is dissolved. In 1801, Giuseppe Piazzi is the first human to see the dwarf planet Ceres. In 1803, Ohio is admitted as the 17th U.S. state. In 1804, Haiti becomes the first black republic and second independent country in North America after the United States when their French rule ends today. In 1804, the importation of slaves into the United States is banned starting today. In 1810, Polish pianist and composer Frédéric Chopin is born today. In 1833, the United Kingdom claims sovereignty over the Falkland Islands. In 1836, Texas convenes a delegation to deliberate independence from Mexico. In 1845, the Cobble Hill Tunnel in Brooklyn, New York is completed. Also in 1845, President John Tyler signs a bill authorizing the United States to annex the Republic of Texas. In 1847, the state of Michigan formally abolishes capital punishment. In 1854, the SS City of Glasgow ship leaves Liverpool Harbor with 480 passengers and crew and was never seen again. In 1863, the Emancipation Proclamation takes effect in the Confederate States of America. Also in 1863, the first claim under the Homestead Act is made by Daniel Freeman for a farm in Nebraska. And just four years later, in 1867, most of Nebraska becomes the 37th U.S. state. Also in 1867, Howard University in Washington, D.C. is chartered. In 1872, Yellowstone is established as the world's first national park. In 1873, E. Remington and Sons begin production of their first typewriter. In 1875, Republicans in the U.S. Congress pass the last of the force acts which protected the constitutional rights of blacks during U.S. Reconstruction. Also in 1875, the U.S. Congress passes a Civil Rights Act, which is invalidated by the Supreme Court in 1883. In 1877, Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom is proclaimed Empress of India. In 1880, construction of the Panama Canal begins. In 1890, the first Rose Parade is today in Pasadena, California. Also in 1890, Arthur Conan Doyle publishes his first Sherlock Holmes story, A Study in Scarlet, in the United States. In 1892, Ellis Island first opens to begin processing immigrants into the United States. In 1893, Nikola Tesla gives the first public demonstration of radio in St. Louis, Missouri. In 1896, Henri Baccarel discovers radioactivity. In 1898, New York, New York annexes land from surrounding counties to create the city of Greater New York. In 1901, the British colonies of New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, South Australia, Tasmania, and Western Australia federate as the Commonwealth of Australia. In 1902, in Pasadena, California, today is the first Rolls Bowl game. It is between Michigan and Stanford. In 1903, Major League Baseball's Rules Committee states that the pitcher's mound must not be more than 15 inches higher than the baselines or home plate. In 1904, American composer and band leader Glenn Miller is born today. In 1909, the first U.S. University School of Nursing is established at the University of Minnesota. In 1910, over 100 people are killed in the worst avalanche in United States history when a Great Northern Railway train is buried in Washington State. In 1912, Albert Barry makes the first ever parachute jump from a moving airplane. Also in 1912, in New York City, Isabella Goodwin becomes the first woman police detective in the United States. In 1922, Israeli politician and Nobel Prize laureate Itzhak Rabin is born today. 
1927, the Bank of Italy becomes an American national bank. We call it the Bank of America today. In 1928, Paul Whiteman and his orchestra record Old Man River for Victor Records, featuring the great Bing Crosby. In 1929, the former Canadian municipalities of Point Grey, British Columbia, and South Vancouver, British Columbia, are merged to be called simply Vancouver. In 1932, Charles and Anne Lindbergh's 20-month-old son is kidnapped today. He is found dead on May 12th. In 1934, Nazi Germany passes the Law for the Prevention of Genetically Diseased Offspring, or what we know as their desire to perfect the Aryan race. Think that is terrible? It is based on programs that already existed in both the United States and the United Kingdom. Also in 1934, Alcatraz Island in San Francisco Bay becomes a United States federal prison. In 1936, after five years of construction, the Hoover Dam was completed, becoming the highest concrete arch dam in the United States. In 1937, safety glass in vehicle windshields becomes mandatory in the United Kingdom. I didn't even know safety glass existed then. Also in 1937, Connecticut issues the first permanent automobile license plates in the United States. In 1939, today Sydney, Australia records a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit, a record for the day. In 1941, the first FM radio station in the U.S. begins broadcasting in Nashville, Tennessee. Also in 1941, Captain America is created by cartoonists Joe Simon and Jack Kirby and is first published by Timely Comics. In 1943, a Jewish old-age home for the disabled in Amsterdam is raided by the Nazis. In 1944, Roger Daltrey, who fronts the band The Who, is born today. In 1945, the German Luftwaffe launches Operation Bodenplatte, a massive but failed attempt to knock out the Allies in Northern Europe in a single attack. In 1947, the Canadian Citizenship Act becomes law, converting British subjects into Canadian citizens. Also in 1947, after World War II, the American and British occupation zones in Germany merged to form the Bi-Zone, which was later called West Germany. And in 1947 as well, Cleveland Indians owner Bill Veek sets up the team's spring training camp in racially tolerant Phoenix, Arizona, in anticipation of signing the team's first black players. In 1954, NBC TV makes the first coast-to-coast -coast color broadcast when it runs the Tournament of Roses Parade. Also in 1954, American filmmaker Ron Howard was born. And in 1954 as well, Joseph Stalin suffers a stroke and collapses. He dies four days later. Good riddance. In 1958, the European Economic Community is established. In 1961, the Peace Corps was established by U.S. President John F. Kennedy. In 1962, the United States Navy SEALs program is established. Lots of establishing going on. Also in 1962, the Kresge Corporation opens its first store in Garden City, Michigan. They were called Kmart. In 1966, a 12-day New York City transit strike begins. Also in 1966, Soviet space probe Venera 3 crashes on Venus, becoming the first spaceship to land on another planet's surface. Even though it crashed, I guess it counts. In 1969, after 88 weeks, the Beatles album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band drops off the charts today. In 1970, killer Charles Manson's musical album Lie is released. In 1971, Hellenic Railways, the Greek National Railway, is founded. Also in 1971, cigarette advertising is banned on American television. In 1973, Pink Floyd released their album Dark Side of the Moon, which has since sold over 45 million copies. In 1974, seven presidential aides are indicted for their role in the Watergate break-in and charged with conspiracy to obstruct justice. In 1975, Eagles' Best of My Love reaches number one. In 1978, Air India Flight 855 crashes into the sea off the coast of Mumbai, India, killing 213 people. Also in 1978, Charlie Chaplin's coffin and remains are stolen from a Swiss cemetery. In 1979, formal diplomatic relations are established between China and the United States. 
Also in 1979, Sweeney Todd opens at the Eurus Theatre in New York City for 557 performances. In 1981, Palau begins self-government, though it is not independent from the United States. Also in 1981, Greece is admitted into the European community. In 1981 as well, Duke Ellington's musical Sophisticated Ladies opens at the Lunt Fontaine in New York City and runs for 767 performances. In 1983, a tornado rips through Los Angeles, California, injuring 33 people. A tornado in Los Angeles. In 1985, the first British mobile phone call is made. In 1986, Spain and Portugal are admitted into the European community. In 1988, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America comes into existence, creating the largest Lutheran denomination in the United States. Also in 1988, for the first time since 1956, the Special Veterans Committee does not elect anyone into the Baseball Hall of Fame. In 1989, the coach of disqualified sprinter Ben Johnson reveals at a federal inquiry into Canada's greatest sports scandal that Johnson knowingly used steroids since 1981. In 1990, Steve Jackson Games is raided by the United States Secret Service, prompting the formation of the Electronic Frontier Foundation to watchdog online civil liberties. In 1992, Russia is officially formed after the fall of the USSR. In 1994, Justin Bieber was born today. And that's all I've got to say about that. Also in 1994, the North American Free Trade Agreement comes into effect. In 1995, Internet Behemoth Yahoo is incorporated today. Did you know it was originally called Jerry's Guide to the World Wide Web? I like that better. Also in 1995, Sweden, Austria, and Finland are admitted into the European Union. And in 1995 as well, the Dropner wave in the North Sea off of Norway is detected, confirming the existence of rogue waves. In 1996, the new toll-free 888 area code is introduced in the United States. In 1997, Kofi Annan is appointed Secretary General of the United Nations. Also in 1997, Canadian Elvis Stoiko hits the first quad triple combination jump in the history of figure skating. In 1998, Titanic becomes the first movie to gross over $1 billion. It has actually topped $2 billion now. In 1999, the new European Union currency, called the Euro, is introduced today. In 2003, management of the United States Customs Service and the United States Secret Service moved to the United States Department of Homeland Security. In 2004, Terry Nichols is convicted of murder charges and being an accomplice to Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh. In 2005, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that it was unconstitutional to execute murderers who were under 18 at the time of their crimes. In 2007, Adam Air Flight 574 disappears over Indonesia with 102 people on board. In 2009, 66 people die in the Santika Club fire in Bangkok, Thailand. In 2010, a suicide car bomber detonates at a volleyball tournament in Pakistan, killing 105 and injuring 100 more. In 2014, U.S. President Barack Obama warns Russian President Vladimir Putin over involvement in Ukraine. Interesting considering the situation between Russia and Ukraine in the last week of February 2022. It's still going on. In 2016, MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred sends a strong message to players on the issue of domestic violence. Also today in 2016, the Forbes Richest List is released. Bill Gates is number one with a mere $75 billion in the bank. And lastly in 2020, the first known COVID-19 case in the U.S was identified in New York. It was a healthcare worker who had just returned from Iran. Wow, March 1st had a lot of things in it. I didn't realize it was such a busy day. Hey, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button for me. Have a great day.